yes, it's me again, back by unpopular demand, and it is finally, finally spooky season, which means it's the season for scary movies, that's right. And I started thinking recently about the Purge movies again. As you might notice, I am not a subtle person, so movies like the Purge franchise should appeal to me, but it just doesn't. It just makes me spiral into overthinking mode. To be clear, this is not a review. This is not a reaction. I have never seen a single Purge movie all the way through. I don't even know if I've seen an entire scene all the way through. I've just like, you know, walked in on people watching them or whatever. But they just make my head hurt because I can't stop thinking about them. And then I cry. I just start thinking about all the implications and how people who wrote it probably didn't. Promise me you'll think about the implications! Okay. Like, okay, it's a world where everything is legal for 24 hours, as in everything. And because it's a bad, unsubtle, scary movie franchise, it really just emphasizes the violent and homicidal part of crime, but literally none of the others. Like, what about immigration, right? Like, obviously it's illegal to cross the border. Illegally. <laughs> so it's like, does that mean that the US gets a bunch of, of undocumented people crossing the border on the purge? And then after that, it's like, are they allowed to be citizens? Because it's like, it was the purge, man. What are you to do? Like, can send ice after me? Mm -mm, it's the purge. You know, or is it just if you can get across the border, like, Border Patrol's not going to stop you, but we can catch you after that day? Like, how's this work? What's the time limit? <laughs> and then I also think about, like, how much cleanup that would take if absolutely everything was legal or i guess nothing was illegal more accurately like every single business every single organization every single government branch group whatever nonprofit has to have like a whole task force has to have a whole group a whole division dedicated to just cleaning stuff up afterwards and i don't just mean like battered bodies or heads rolling because somebody killed somebody i mean like tax evasion <laughs> or forms that someone filled out and they were like i'll just lie on this because it's the purge you know <laughs> and like they probably have to go through absolutely everything and every employee because it's like as a boss who's hiring employees do you want somebody who participated in the purge because it seems to be like a normalized thing to participate in it and what are you gonna do nobody can do anything to you if you did but maybe bosses don't want people who tried to murder during the purge so then are they ethically allowed to deny employment to those people or fire them for that or is it just nope doesn't count it's purge you know or it's like what are you gonna do when you have to go to work the next day after the purge and be like, oh, sup, Mary, I, I tried to murder your family last night, but we're in good terms now, right? What kind of world would this be? It'd be horrible to know that the only thing keeping some people from doing awful, awful things is one single day without rules. Also, there are laws against, like, security companies from extorting you. Like, they have all the power because they have all these, maybe, security cameras in your house or certain locks and stuff. But, like, we see in the movies that security is kind of a big thing in this universe. If you're afraid of somebody coming to kill your family on a day when it's not illegal, so you use a security system that locks your doors and warns you if anybody's coming, but what laws are keeping those security companies from using their cameras to go and find you, or extort you, or blackmail you, 
or post videos or photos of you without your consent somewhere or just deciding to turn off all your security like nah let's not turn it on today because it's the purge <laughs> and I'm a horrible person or whatever you know I guess maybe they'd get backlash after the purge they'd lose customers I guess but again it's like is the attitude towards people who participate in it like not nah, it's normal or is it like you suck for letting that happen even though it wasn't illegal you know i want to know i want I, <laughs> I want answers they're not gonna give them to me but i want them. also it's like and to be fair maybe this can be answered by watching the movies but i wouldn't be caught dead doing that so like is the purge just an american thing i'm pretty sure it is like, it's just within our borders. So if that's true, what do you say to the companies that have, like, chains in other countries? Or branches in other countries? Or they just do business with other countries? They import and export? Like, is it suddenly okay to do unfair business deals with them on that day? Do they even do business deals on that day? Maybe you just wouldn't do any business. Like Christmas. <laughs> but um, but even Christmas, there's some stuff going on. Maybe not your minimum wage workers and factories and stuff. But like, like, what about pollution and littering? If everybody was just allowed to do that on a single day of the year, then companies could just dump nuclear waste in rivers every year that can't be good for the environment is this a dystopia where people have to wear masks everywhere oh wait <laughs> never mind scratch that one <laughs> what about like labor laws in general like <laughs> say a company with beefed up security decided to lock all of its workers up on the night of the purge to make them work with absolutely no breaks and no pay like, would the workers be able to refuse and walk out because there's no laws keeping them from walking out? Or could the bosses, like, threaten to fire them after the purge? I feel like this could be used to extort people who have less, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to fire someone with absolutely no reason. And, like, people still do that. Bosses still fire you for no good reason anyway when it is against the law. So then, on the purge, they could do it without any consequences. <laughs> so you could just, you could fire someone for participating in the purge, even though, like, it's not illegal. And I just feel like the sheer amount, like, they mention it in the purge, all the sirens that suddenly start playing when the night's over. But the amount of emergency services that would have to, that would have to be there to clean up all that, it's insane. Their world must have enormous hospitals <laughs> with like way too much funding. <laughs> also, it's like, what about the internet? You know, like I know the internet has no rules, but <laughs> you know, there are companies that have guidelines you know like do like youtube or other websites um community guidelines just go away for the purge because they're not just operating in america they're operating around the world but also this is supposed to be an entire countrywide legal thing or not legal thing <laughs> do they just go away for the u.s users like is it just U.S. companies? Where's the line drawn? Because if there are no guidelines for the internet, even if it's just for American companies, that means they could... Hacking would be so much easier. Stealing identities would be so much easier. Um, companies would be able to track your ISBN numbers so much easier. Use your information for whatever. You'd get so much spam after the purge. Like... On the day of the purge, can Google just listen to everything through their devices on that day and use it for whatever they want? 
And then if somebody's ever like, how'd you get that information? Oh, it was during the purge. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, also, the um, <laughs> I can't stop. The amount of laws and legislation that would have to be put in place just for, like, after purge stuff, you know? Like, if, if a crime is committed on the purge, you can only enjoy its benefits on the day of the purge? Is that it? Because that would be really hard to maintain and enforce. Also, like, just explicit images that are explicit content that's not meant for children, like, censorship is a law. Can't do that anymore during the purge. You just have whatever out there. Distribute whatever. And don't even get me started on, like, domestic and sexual assault. Because it's like, it's a day where everybody who doesn't want to participate in the purge basically locks themselves up in their houses to stay away from everything with their families. And if you don't have such a good family, sucks to suck, I guess. I guess they can face consequences later. That's horrible. Or it's like, if somebody, like, are there issues of people being icky or violent or psychotic on the purge? And then, like, they try and seek legal action afterwards to try and get away from the consequences, even if there are some after the fact. <laughs> do a lot of people lose friends? I bet they do. But you can't trust anyone in this world. Except for the security companies. They're your friend and definitely won't do anything with the immense power they hold. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, has America evolved into a more tolerant place for cruel behavior or is it because the purge is seen as like necessary for your safety that that if you do view the law as morality plain and simple then the purge is a time when law allows it so it's still good you know so it's like oh it's fine if that person killed somebody because technically the law did allow it by not allowing it you know what i mean <laughs> And then I just start thinking of scenarios like, okay, if someone really, really hates a coworker and then they murder them during the purge just because they don't like them, do people then have to tiptoe around that guy for the rest of the year, like planning revenge maybe? Just hoping they won't be next. <laughs> so they act really, really polite to him. <laughs> Again, it's like a horrible world. And like, I know that they said crime wasn't completely eradicated, that's impossible. But they had some really low statistic in, like, the prologue, opening scrawl, whatever, of the first movie. And, like, I just think there is absolutely no way on God's green earth that this would work. Because not everyone commits crimes because they want to. Because they just have an urge that's a very small percentage of people who just have violent urges. And even those who want to would I just thought of, like, gangs. Oh my gosh, like, gang violence? That's insane. <laughs> They'd have such huge fights. It'd be, like, a whole citywide thing where everyone would have to hide, which I guess is already represented within the movie, but... I just feel like they're not thinking about everything. <laughs> so, like, really, The Purge isn't, like, a utopia with only one day of horror. It's a dystopia whose one day of purging ensures that... It's like a lawless anarchy the rest of the year. Like, this one day would ruin everything all the time. And it would give security companies way too much power. I'm sorry. Like, it's like, ever heard of a crime of passion? When you commit a crime at a certain time because, like, you can't hold back or you're just in a certain frame of mind. You have a unique opportunity that might not be there in a year when the purge is or whatever. Also, sometimes I'm thinking, like, some crimes take longer than a day. What if somebody wants to do a bank heist that takes a lot of planning? Then maybe they would do the planning and then do the actual robbery. Also, what if military coups were a thing on the purge? And I know that they also mentioned that in like the... Oh yeah, that was a thing in one of the movies, wasn't it? I don't know what happens. I just know it was called election year, so it probably had to do with that. So my hypothesis would be that because of all these things, all the cleanup, all the technicalities that would happen, 
the purge would just have to like be extended to multiple nights and then it would just keep extending because it would get worse and worse until it was just all purge all the time. We are anarchy, you know? Or no one would even care if someone like took over the government on the purge or overthrew or overthrew America or whatever and turned the world into a lawless land because we were already really close to that, you know? Either way, I think one of the other countries would just get sick of how it affected world trade and international corporations that they just nuke us, you know? Like, the nature of this concept is self-destructive. It would grow into a world that was more and more desensitized to madness and violence, so the argument that, like, everyone's violent tendencies and urges can be put off long enough to be expelled through this one night of the year is moot, because everyone would just get more and more used to cruelty. It would get harder and harder to placate it and harder and harder to get rid of it in only one night. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. That's why the Purge movies are bad <laughs> and I've never even seen one. Happy beginning of spooky season.